I returned to Europe as a military commander, but with no miraculous plans, no display of military force. I returned with an unshakable faith in Europe, this land of our ancestors, in the underlying courage of its people, in their willingness to live and sacrifice for a secure peace and the continuance and the progress of civilization. The children of all nations deserve better than we have so far been able to promise them. They bear no hatred, suspicion, or distrust. Let us work for them and put aside all prejudices and past grievances. And let us never shrink from defending their birthright of liberty, even as ours has been cherished and staunchly defended for us. In each of these countries, there is much to protect, and the theme of freedom runs through the literature of each. First, France. Countries are well cultivated, not as they are fertile, but as they are free. On January 9, General Eisenhower left Paris for Belgium. I have respected my father because he was a free man. May my children have cause to honor me in this way. January 10, the Netherlands. Hold courage and honor high. Above them, hold freedom. January 11, Denmark. This land will be lovely as long as it is free. January 12. Norway. The white peaks of honor, the green hills of peace, the blue eyes of freedom are ours to protect. January 13, Great Britain. This England never did, nor never shall, lie at the proud foot of a conqueror. January 16, Portugal. Can a man raise his eyes beyond the stars? Can a man raise his soul beyond freedom? January 18, Italy. The time will come when we shall give our hand to men of freedom from each brother land. January 19, Luxembourg. We leave our children no better gift than freedom. On January 24, after a visit to Germany to consult American, British, and French commanders there, General Eisenhower continued his tour to Iceland. He who would take our freedom is our enemy. January 26, 